Welcome back to Jakara Podcast Go Go. That's Wiggly. I'm Lightning Mike Quackenbush. We want to say a big hello to all the new people checking us out over in well, we we're just talking about this, the former Soviet Union or whatever whatever they're called now, you're like a million little city states or nation states or whatever. And Especially the people in Georgia. That's right. And now that we have like Zoftergit. <laughs> I don't know what what does that mean? Breakfast. <laughs> We have like seven subscribers now from the former Soviet Union, so we wanted to send a shout out to all of them. And we want to send a shout out to all of you that started subscribing about two weeks ago. If you did, then you got to see six additional podcasts over the last two weeks featuring the Cybernetico captains, Eddie Kingston and Larry Sweeney. And of course, we know that's also been converted over to YouTube and other places, so even if you didn't see it uh, via iTunes, maybe you got to see all the updates and get all caught up on the Cybernetico, which is coming up this week. It's this mm -hmm. weekend at the ECW Arena. And how. Yeah, look out. Now, we'll talk about that, which is in the future, in a bit. But for now, we're headed to the immediate past. We're going to take a look at some clips from Young Lions Cup 4, Night 3. That's for those of you going to Smartmark Video to look for it. Oh. This first clip coming up right now is from an eight-man tag. On one side, you'll see Equinox, Angel de Fuego, and The Colony. On the other side, Los Ice Creams with Rorschach and Crossbones coming at you. Wow. I'm gonna have to say that is Ice Cream Junior. Ice Cream Junior. No, that is he held the ice cream. No, that is Ice Cream Junior. So you don't know. I'm gonna say Ice Cream Junior, and I am correct. I tell you now, Larry Swinney. Ice Cream Junior's wearing the. Uh, yeah, he's. Uh, wow, what a move there! I held the flag off. Caught him right with the hook of his foot there. Ice Cream Junior, of course, uh, that banana flavor. Wait a minute. Angel's waiting behind him. Ho! Sends him to the ropes. Beautiful, beautiful Hurricane Rana. Banana ice cream, you say there, Larry Sweeney. Uh oh. Maybe it's French vanilla. Whoa. Oh, what a move by Ana del Fuego. Ana. Nice corkscrew plancha right over to the top. He hit the guardrail. And butter pecan flavor goes down. Now we've got straight up cookies and cream right here. Oh, wow. delicious, delicious. Delicious, delicious. It's a hot day in Philadelphia, but it'd cool off quick if I could get me some nice vanilla ice cream. Meanwhile, we've got the match at hand. No, he's gonna take a little rest. I like that. I like doing that. You know, he's got he's got his composure. Gonna slow things down. The team of the ice creams, the crossbones, and Rorschach haven't had too much offense thus far. So they want to slow things down, get things going their way. But wait a minute. Let's see here. Equinox over the top. Nice. Big. Heads to the takedown. Yes. Oh, nice chop. Oh no, those are forearms. It's a forearm right there. A chop right to the back. Those hurt, don't they? They do indeed. Man, what a jerk move right there. I'm starting to think this ice cream guy's a jerk. Ice cream, junior ice cream. Ice cream, junior. In the ring right now, we have Hijo del Ice Cream. I'm telling I, you now, pat me Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for El Hijo del Ice Cream. Just took a big backdrop, and he's hurting. Now Equinox with that big lucha push off up to the second. Big twisting Alita. Look at that, a full revolution there. Fantastic. Oh, misses with the big forearm. Misses with the burrito into the corner. And look, he's sneaky, that ice cream. You can already tell. No. Look at that. Oh, he hurt his neck. Hurt his neck again, I believe. Yes, he did. Cranking it back into place there right away. Readjusted. Big roll up here. No. What? Nope. Locks the kick. Now Equinox with the back roll. Ice cream's all torn up, all tied up. Sends him off. That sneaky ice cream. Do what you need to do to get the job done. That's what I always say. If it involves going to the pooper, that's what it is. Nice butterfly suplex. Shades of Larry Sweeney. Hey, yeah, that is a key move of mine. A trademark move, you might say. Holy mackerel. Hey, we're getting towards the tail end of these Young Lions Cup clips now. We're deep into night three. And if you like what you're seeing, go to smartmarkvideo.com and pick it up on DVD or VHS. Take it easy. Yeah. Send us your money, because we need it. I mean, we go out to the Sizzler after every one of these things, and let's face it, the bills are piling up. Uh, and real quick, because they can't edit this out, if a Walmart opens in your area, go protest. All right? I've been trying to get this in for like 30 episodes. And I got it. You'll never cut it out, because it's in the middle of the segment. I know how it works. You'll bleep me, won't you? All right, look. We're going Not to another clip here. Um, I promise we will. But won't. I'm going to Sib's Deli afterwards. I'm not going to that other... Put over the mom and pop shop. shops, huh? Yes. Keep them in business. Some crappy little video game place down the street from you. 
Go buy all their copies of Zelda. Nobody else is. And just remember, sitting there. Sibs Deli has 100% natural maple syrup. And it's corn syrup stuff. What about that plumbing place we plugged a couple weeks that ago? Did we ever get any? Fantastic. Did we get a lot more subscriptions because of that? Oh my gosh, we got the whole team. Four, all four people from Alex Plumbing are now watching the Jakara Podcast Go Go. So we are certainly pleased to have all these additional plumbing technicians watching, and soon we'll be asking favors of you uh, in a new segment we'll be introducing called My Leaky Faucet. Uh, but for now, we're going to go to another clip, I think. Mm -hmm. we, we, we will. And it's from the, the same show. It's off the same DVD. I mean, that's how this works, really. Um, and you're going to see some combination of Player Uno, Ricochet, Chuck Taylor, and Cloudy, I suspect. It's crazy. It's fun. It's now. Hey, that Player Uno has a control pad on his pants. Yeah. Was this too rambly? No. Oh, some teamwork out of Uno and uh, Ricochet. Monkey flip, Oh! Puts him on his feet so he can wait for Yakuza. Young blower, lung blower. Wait oh. for the turn, one, two. Cloudy makes the save in the last second. Very impressive tag team work. Now the first time pairing of Uno and Ricochet. Only a dose count for Uno. Uno's got something to mind. Whoa! Oh. Tope comes to a seat out right through the ropes. Flips through. Oh, Ricochet puts Cloudy on the apron. Got some, oh, goes low. Whoa! Cloudy with a springboard spin wheel kick and he's hurting too, that's why they no call it. No regard for his body at all with that move. They don't call it a high risk maneuver for nothing. Up in the high rent district. Now Ricochet with a head of steam. Ooh, Cloudy, keep your eye on this Ricochet. Whoa! <laughs> Chuck Taylor just sailed over two men! Right on top of player Uno. Uno wasn't even to his feet yet. He just squashed him like a sack of wet cantaloupe. He was soaring in the air, Mantis. Amazing! All three of those men on the outside there. Jeez. Ricochet! Keep your eye on Ricochet! No. Fakes them out. Springboard. Oh! Oh, double Springboard double moon zone. Two revolutions. 720 degrees. All four men down on the floor. The final four Chikara shows of the year are upon us. October 28th, we're at the ECW Arena for a doubleheader that contains Monster Mash 2 and Cybernetico Forever. And then in the month of November, we've got three shows. On the 12th, we're in Barnesville. On the 17th, we're in Reading. And on the 18th, we are in Hellertown. Of course, next week, we'll be back here with more Chikara podcast a go go But to fill up your podcast, your insatiable podcast hunger, have no fear, my friends, for Wiggly will be making no fewer than seven podcasts between then and now. Tell them. That's true. Go to wigglysworld.com and you can find out all about the different little things I'm involved with, especially a wiggly world. Now with the new intro song graciously given to us by none other than Devo. Really? Yes. Is that legit or you just Gerald V. Casali actually gave me approval to use a use Wiggly World as my opening theme song. Oh the Devo song Wiggly yes. World. Mm -hmm. That's hot. And it's you didn't incredible. have to steal it or anything. No. Because that's All what I would legit, have done. Or as the kids say, leg it. Now before we get too into our leggets up, we will end this podcast, thankfully. <laughs> And try to get some needed Z since it's 8.30 in the morning. Bye.